Hey guys, it is me, it is me, it is me. Um, welcome back, and I have um, an Etsy journal today that I um, finished this morning, and so I thought I would video it and get it all listed, and um, then I have a lot of custom work this week, so you won't, you won't see me um, un unless the person that ordered the custom order wants a video. Sometimes they don't, so which is, I totally understand if it's a private, especially if it's a private thing, and sometimes they just don't want it. So, totally cool, either way. So, if you see me, it's gonna be a custom order this week. So, this one is um, built similar to the Haber, uh, so the inside is like Haberdasher, if you guys remember the Haberdasher's handbook, and the outside is similar to the academic. So I wanted to do another haberdasher journal. I wanted to do a big one, the nine by six with the 160 pages. Um, and I thought, well, I might as well do the, um, the fabric, the wool on the cover. And it kind of mimics that haberdashery since it's fabric. So anyway, and I really liked that one. And um, I know a lot of you liked that one too. So I thought I would just kind of recreate that cover for the haberdasher. So I'm in a new spot. I'm going to have to crawl over the table. Um, it rained last night. Finally, we haven't had rain in forever and or snow. Like, we need snow. We need we need moisture to fall from the heavens. <laughs> um, but anyway, it's so it's dark this morning. It's um, really dim where I usually film. So I moved over by um, the window, and but I have to crawl over some things to get to the other side so I can sit down and show this to you. So, excuse me, I'm going to crawl. If I knock stuff over, I'm sorry. Okay, I did it. So, um, like I said, this is just like the, the academic with the Pendleton wool and the uh, leather corners and spine. It's nine by six, hardback. There is the back of it. On the cover, we have this, um, it's a uh, graphic with sewing graphic. And then I've sewn on some fabrics and some buttons, and I did a, a book plate here. And then it, it is also a pocket. So it's got some little sewing ephemera tucked in the side. And that's how the haberdasher, the original haberdasher, was too. So the um, closure is, of course, the um, seam binder's ribbon, because how appropriate is that? And then up on top, there is all of this, um, you know, the tabs. And I had some really cool ribbon with some um, measurements, like measuring tape measurements. And so cute! Is it so cute? And then here's the side. You can see all the stuff poking out. So let me get this in frame here for you. I think that's pretty good. Okay. So inside is this measuring tape paper, and we're gonna have all kinds of things sewn on the edge. This is some, some um, coffee stained ribbon trim. Uh, look how pretty that is. Ah. Um, there is a tag here. There's a sewn pocket on this side and a little tuck spot here with some ephemera in it. There's gonna be some stamping Tails, tails, tails everywhere. More stamping here. There are several fold outs. Some more stamping. There is some patterned paper and music paper and more sewn pockets with a journal card here. Here is a little collage tag. Uh, it's um, just on with a pin, so you can take it on or off. On this side is kind of a little skinny tuck spot. It's got a merchandise, a stamp merchandise tag over here, but it's kind of cool. Another tag here. It's the stamping and ribbon trim. There's a little uh, garment pin with some flax twine. Some more stamping, stamping. 
Lots of room in this one. It's kind of puffy, so if you need to take something out, go for it. The ribbon trim really adds to the bulk, I think. Um, sewn pocket here with all kinds of goodies, uh, vintage goodies sewn on. There's a stamp and a button and all kinds of goodies. And then on this side, we have an envelope with some ephemera. I got an envelope punch board yesterday. So I've been hearing about them for months and I'm like, what is this thing? <laughs> and I never really, I guess every time I would go to um, a store or something, I, I just, um, it would slip your mind. You know, it's later on when somebody mentions it in a video or something, you're like, oh yeah. So I was at Tuesday morning yesterday and they had one. So I got an envelope punch board. Yay, new toys. So that's what this is, and it's also a pocket in the back. Here is a journaling page with some trims and a pin and all that good stuff, and some more stamping, more stamping. This sucker's decked out. Stamping here. This trim has a little charm hanging off of a garment pin. Here is an envelope and it's sewn around the top and then it just tucks underneath this little uh, lip. So cute. More trim. I love this paper too. Love it. Um, pocket over here on this side with some more trim. Some ephemera. Another fold out. Some stamping, more stamping. Sometimes I forget to stamp until after I put the book together, but this time I actually remembered before I sewed everything in to do some, it's, it's so much easier to do that ahead of time. <laughs> so I was able to do a lot more because I remembered. Because sometimes if it gets to where one of the ends of the book, it's so, um, um, there's, since there's so much stuff, it's not as stable. Like, I guess I could put like a, a heavy piece of card or something behind it to hold it steady to stamp on. I just never think of that kind of thing at the time. Some stamping here and another pocket. And this is some velvet ribbon with a little garment pin with uh, the beads. Here is, I kind of like this page. So it's a sewn pocket, so it's got some sewing ephemera in the back, but it also has this little um, collage of different kinds of textiles, and it is also a little tuck spot, and there is a little ticket in there. And this side is that cool um, measuring tape ribbon, and I've sewn it onto that page. More stamping. I need to get some sewing stamps, don't I? Since I love the sewing genre so much, I really probably need to look some up. I'm really picky when it comes to my stamps, and um, it's not that I don't like a lot of them, but some of them are too um, uh, more juvenile, and they don't really fit with the style of my journals. I like more of a vintage um tone than a juvenile tone. Do you, does that make any sense? Anyway. So we're getting to the end here. Another sewn pocket with some ephemera and some muslin down there. And then this is a back. It's got a little textile collage with some vintage buttons. And there's the back. So isn't she pretty? What a pretty old gal. Hope you like it. I like the sewing thing. Um, it lends to all the tails and all the trims and stuff that I like to put on. So it's, um, oh, I like it. So there you are, my friends. I hope everybody is having a great weekend. And um, I will catch you guys in the next video. If you have any questions, just pop them down in the comment section and I will try to get to them. I've, I got some notices late, and so there's even some videos that I put up like a week ago or so. I I haven't even read through the comments, because so half the time I don't get my comment notices, and if I don't get them, 
if I'm busy, sometimes I don't even go check. And so lately about, oh, greater than half of the comments, I don't even get notices that they've arrived. So if I happen to not catch your comment, it's not because I'm ignoring you. <laughs> it's because I didn't get the notice and there's so many comments, it's hard to know who commented on what. And I do put up a lot of videos and so I kind of get lost in my own YouTube world sometimes and so I apologize so please don't think I'm ignoring you because I would never do that um, So guys have a good one, and I will catch you in the next video. Bye guys